Hi everyone. Today we're at Fort Mississauga in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario. Over the past few months uh, during the pandemic, uh, workers were actually hard at work here uh, doing a restoration and renovation of the site. The uh, fort has been really dramatically fixed up. Uh, I don't know all the details of all the things that were done, but the building is looking in much better shape and uh, the roof has been redone. I see there are solar panels up on top. I don't think that's, that's definitely not a historical aspect of the building, but uh, there are eaves troughs on there and water collection in place, so it looks like uh, there's been a really great effort to preserve the nature of the building. These gates here are absolutely massive, and uh, I can only think that they're uh, use, still using the original hardware. The, the windows here are just really very narrow slots, and uh, they have armor uh, gratings on the outside. You can see where some of the original parging was put over top of the bricks and has uh, fallen off over the years. I don't think there was an attempt to um, restore that to any uh, previous state. I think it was left as it was, uh, but very, uh, very interesting the way it was done. The top of the building here used to be actually an open structure where they would have a, uh, basically an area where they would have cannons mounted and uh, so today it's all covered uh, just uh, out of necessity to protect the building. So scattered around in the earthworks there are uh, several um, places where there are openings cut into the, the banks. This particular one uh, looks like it's uh, through passage going through to the other side. So I imagine uh, this would have been the way to enter the site. Uh, very likely you couldn't actually walk up over the mound, over the earthworks at one time uh, because they were so high. So this is one of the entrance ways to come uh, through into the inner area of the fort. You can just imagine these these graded doors, they, uh, they look very substantial. I, I have no reason to think they're not original. So they've really done a really nice job here uh, uh, patching up the building and uh, repointing some of the brickwork where necessary. Uh, I see there are stones set into the ground to drain away the water, and but not really detract from the historical nature of the building. Fort Mississauga is on the shore of Lake Ontario at the mouth of the Niagara River in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Before the Europeans arrived, this site was used by several Native American tribes, the Neutrals in the 15th century, the Seneca, who came from the south of Lake Ontario in the 17th century, and the Mississauga in the 18th century. The neutral tribe was decimated by smallpox in the 16th century. At this site in 1804, a lighthouse was built, apparently the first to be built on the Great Lakes, but later dismantled to make way for the fort. During the War of 1812, the retreating U.S. forces had burned the nearby town of Newark in December 1813, at which time the British forces had regained control. The fort that we see today was partially built with stone and brick salvaged from the town of Newark 
which is Niagara on the Lake today. The fort was built from 1814 to 1816, after the War of 1812, to replace the nearby Fort George, although today more remains of Fort George than this fort. Interestingly enough, Captain Runchy's company of colored men was attached to the Royal Engineers assigned the task of building Fort Mississauga. This was a militia company that was comprised of free blacks and indentured black servants. They had participated throughout the War of 1812 in many battles, including the battle at Queenston Heights. The ramparts around the site are in a star shape, and they're about, I would guess, three or four meters high, roughly 12 feet. And uh, they're in a star shape pattern, uh, presumably at the points of the star back in the day, they would have had some armament in place, some type of uh, cannons, I would think. The inside of the building here is quite interesting. It's, uh, it's very, very Spartan in here. All brick and the building appears to be quite, quite thick uh, in terms of the the amount of uh, brickwork and uh, the walls must be extremely thick. Today you can walk around on the earthworks and really get a sense of, uh, of the size of the fort and, and uh, the ditch down below and how far down that was. I imagine back in the day uh, you really would not be able to to walk across that ditch and up this rampart without meeting some opposition. So today there's a little entrance way here where you can walk up to the rampart level. I don't think back in the day you could actually do that. You would probably be presented with a very steep hill here and you would be hard pressed to just kind of walk up it without uh, a lot of effort. Uh, I don't know if there were, uh, if, if there was uh, like a moat or a area of water around this or not, but definitely um, it presented a big challenge, I would think, to anybody who tried to attack the fort. So today it's very peaceful here. We're, we're up against the, the golf course here in Niagara-on-the-Lake. So on this side, Fort Mississauga is right on the shoreline of Lake Ontario. And if you look across, you can actually see the fort on the U.S. side as well. And probably a couple of kilometers uh, s kind of south, uh, southeast of here is uh, Fort George, uh, also on the Canadian side. So today it's a really nice sight very nice sight to walk around and and uh, take a look at take a look at the history the history that was here the british army was stationed at the fort from 1813 to 1855 and subsequently by the canadian militia interestingly enough it was used as a training facility in both world wars and the korean war all that remains of the fort today is the square brick tower and the star-shaped earthworks. This building is an amazing relic from the aftermath of the War of 1812. And the fact that it's still standing today is a testament to the hard-working men of Captain Runchy's company of colored men. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to join me on my next adventure.